Good morning, second graders. Today is Thursday, May 14th, 2020. This is your last video for the week. We are going to go ahead and get started, get your student interactive out. We have two pages we will be working on today. These are two writing pages, page 661 and page 662. And then after we complete these two pages, I'm going to give you some reminders about what I expect for you to do um, tomorrow and a little heads up about what's coming next week. All right, let's get started. So we are going to edit for pronouns. So we're gonna be talking about subject pronouns, object pronouns, possessive pronouns, and reflexive pronouns. Now remember, a pronoun replaces the noun. Subject pronouns are subjects of, sent of sentences, such as I, you, he, she, it, we, they. Object pronouns are used as objects, such as me, you, him, her, it, us, and them. Possessive pronouns show ownership. So I'm talking about my, mine, your, yours, his, her, hers, its, our, ours, their, and theirs. And reflexive pronouns refer back to the subject. Myself, yourself, himself, herself, itself, ourselves, yourselves, and themselves. Now what's most important is that you just remember that a pronoun replaces the noun. So our job today is to edit this draft. It says first, edit for mistakes with subject and object pronouns, then edit for mistakes with possessive and reflexive pronouns, then edit your how-to text for pronouns. Now remember, I haven't assigned you a how-to text yet, but when you do have that assignment, it's a good idea to double check that you have used your pronouns correctly um, and use them at all when necessary. Let's go ahead and read this paragraph. I'll begin. It says, my sister and I went to the mall with our dad. Hmm, that doesn't sound right. When it was time for we to have lunch, us went to the food court. She and me got pizza. Her had mushrooms, but mine was, but my was plain. Dad ate a big salad all by himself. Okay, so you guys can see, I'm even making errors reading this because it's so hard for me to read it incorrectly. I'm sure you guys noticed a bunch of errors while I was reading out loud to you. So for example, mine needs to be changed to my, and I'm gonna go ahead and hold this up for you in a minute. So don't worry about pausing the video yet, just listen for now. But I noticed that mine should be my, we should be us, and then again, us should be we. So we got those two pronouns mixed up in that area. Me, instead of she and me got pizza, I would never say that I have to say she and I got pizza because me got pizza is not proper grammar. I'd have to say I got pizza. Instead of her had mushrooms, I'll need to say hers had mushrooms. But mine was plain. Again, instead of my, it should be mine. So we got that mixed up in two areas in this paragraph. And then instead of dad ate a big salad all by himself, it's himself. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Feel free to pause the video and refer to this as you make your corrections. I hope doing this has been helpful for you this week. All right. Let's get our interactives out again. And we are going to turn to the next page, page 662. We are going to be editing for capitalization. So again, eventually when you have your how-to assignment next week, you're going to make sure that you've used capitals where you should and that you have not used capitals incorrectly. So like we've been talking about proper nouns, many abbreviations, and the first words of sentences begin with capital letters. Greetings and closings of letters are capitalized too. So when you're writing a letter and you say, dear Mrs. Landau or to Miss Gabby, okay, we have to capitalize that beginning word. And when we close out our letter by saying love or from or sincerely, that's capitalized as well. So as we know, authors edit their writing to make sure they have used capital letters correctly. Your job is to edit this draft, cross out mistakes and capitalization, and make sure you write the word correctly above. So let's take a look at this. June 24th, 2018. Wow, I noticed that June does not have a capital. It should be a proper noun. Dear Grandpa, I know dear and grandpa both need to be capitalized. We are visiting Washington, DC. And don't forget you guys, I'll hold this up for you in a minute. So don't worry, I know it sounds like I'm rushing this through. On Saturday, we went to a really great museum. Saturday is a proper noun. We learned about that abbreviation too. I got to touch a rock from the moon. We will be home in July. July is another month. We need to capitalize it. See you soon. Love, Mateo. Love and Mateo should both be capitalized. So make sure 
that you have correctly edited that letter, feel free to pause the video and follow my corrections as well. Okay, you guys, that's it. Our work here is done for today. I wanna to give you a reminder and explain something to you. Since this week we did some work from, from unit five, week four, and we also did some work from unit five, week five, instead of giving you two progress checks, we are not going to do a progress check tomorrow. Instead, I am expecting you to take your unit five end of the unit assessment. So I will have that ready for you on my view. Again, your job tomorrow is to take the end of unit five assessment. Tomorrow, the week will be a little different. You have two days to work on a how-to assignment. I will have a video ready for you. Um, my goal will be to send it out tomorrow on Friday. Um, if not, you'll have it bright and early on Monday, um, but you're welcome to start it over the weekend if I do get it to you Friday. You do not have to though, but it's there for some of you that do like to do your work a little early, but you have plenty of time if you don't want to. So you'll have Monday and Tuesday to write your how-to, and then the rest of the week are just days to get caught up on any missing work that you have, or if you feel like you need more time to work on writing, okay? It's not something you need to worry about yet. I'll have another video for you explaining what you're doing next week, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you tomorrow at our class meeting. Bye, you guys, I miss you.